Hey guys, welcome to Timbermates. We are Brandon and Karina, and in this video, we're going to be making some serious progress on our house, which the two of us are building with our very own hands. We'll start by milling our support beams out of trees we've taken down ourselves through the tree business. Then we'll be hanging our floor joists and installing our main floor. Enjoy! Feels like a really special thing to be able to mill our own beams from trees that we've harvested through our tree company. And we're also pretty lucky that the building code in our area actually allows us to use these beams to support our floor system. So Brandon was able to take advantage of a rain day, bring all the logs down to the mill, and uh, get them ready to make into beams for our house. We really wanted to use something special instead of just the typical two by 12s, you know, three of them nailed together or a, a metal I-beam or something like that. We really wanted to do something unique. These beams are gonna be exposed. We're actually not gonna even cover them up. Uh, the natural wood just really brings something to the home that we really wanted to show and, and feel. The whole design of the house is very efficient and modern, but the big massive beams that are hundreds and hundreds of pounds each uh, that we took down ourselves and milled ourselves really bring something to the home. beams. Because I used to work construction in this area, I have a really good working relationship with the building official here. And we were able to sit down, look at the plans, and when I expressed my desire to mill our own beams, we came up with the proper sizing. So it is quite large, uh, but because we're using our own, our own wood, we have to go a little bit bigger than normal. So they are 12 inches wide, 12 inches tall, and the spans are 115 inches, the three in the inside, and then the two outside are about 120 inches because they actually slide into the walls and are supported by the concrete that we poured in. Look at what my amazing man does while I'm gone. I love you. Last chance to turn this one. You don't want to see that. No, I like it. Right. Shows sure a little more natural. This will be more of the side you'll see it. Like, so. Yeah. That's fine. Do you like it? I like it. I like it. I like the beam too. <laughs> So just 
just give me a second. I'm going to see if I can get this pop pound to sound good. Okay, main boom down. Secondary boom. Sorry, secondary boom down just a bit. Good. Okay, a little more. Our beams are in. Definitely too high. Um, I could just turn them and they'll drop. Good job, love. Wow. Cool, eh? Think it'll take my weight? No. Nope. Cool, eh? Super cool. This is awesome. Pool table goes right there. Pool table. Mm -hmm. Bar, right here. Bar. Utility room. Stairs. Stairs right here. Yep. Brandon got into some poison oh ivy. Oh my gosh, you show my face. I can't see it from here. Good. <laughs> He's all swollen. He's got poison ivy so bad everywhere. So he's been uh, hurting. It's been hard to work for him. So I am grateful to have such a hardworking man. I love you. Love you too. You're awesome. This is great. So good. Like he measured all of this. He measured it. He ordered everything. He just thinks about everything. That is very underrated. <laughs> that kind of knowledge. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys a little story about how we got our floor joists. Getting any building materials has just been a nightmare. And so we started <laughs> obviously building our house. And then when we went to go order our floor joists, uh, we realized that every big company had at least 11 weeks uh, lead time. We were forced to look around and do some research. And we ended up finding some guy on Kijiji that makes these metal style open web floor joists. Side note, I know we could have gone with, uh, we actually could have milled even our own floor joists, but we don't want bulkheads in the basement. We really wanted these engineer open web floor joists to be able to run all our plumbing, electrical, venting, all that kind of stuff through the floor. And it was also a little bit sketchy. He wanted uh, all the money up front. We had to do a lot of looking into and kind of juggling around with payment options that we might be able to protect ourselves with. So I don't recommend, <laughs> don't recommend going that way at all, but um, it worked out for us and the floor joists turned out pretty good. They're, they're a little bit kind of thrown together, but definitely work for what we need them for. And even though they're not perfect, they came at a good time. And also they came in at a lower budget, which is perfect for us. So that's the story of our floor joists. We picked them up before even the first wall pour. And so I'm just showing you footage on that here. Those are all the 12 footers, and this side is the 16 footers. Check out that view. So it is 6.30 at night. I've been putting saddles on. Brandon's been installing the, the joists. It's coming along. And I have the hiccups. It's not, it's hiccups. <laughs> Next up is installing the subfloor. So first Brandon went along and shimmed and leveled out all the floor joists. I don't want any thing like that happening yeah. where the plywood kind of has to dip down. And we used 5 8 tongue and groove plywood. We PL'd each one down to every floor joist to avoid any squeaking in the future and then screwed them all down really well. the uh, 
generator died last night and we have this plug-in screw gun to save time which is, works really good except when the generator dies on you <laughs> anyway but we found a solution that little jackery will run it yep that jackery is seriously coming handy for the last little while okay so i'm gonna work on peeling the joists and then putting the sheets down brandon's gonna finish doing that and then we're gonna work on this together we're gonna try and get that gun back it's a rental we're gonna try and get that back uh, for two o'clock today and it's already almost 11 30 so got some work to do Thank you all so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. It would really help us out if you guys gave us a thumbs up and please subscribe so you can follow the rest of our journey building our own house. Next time on Timmermates, we're going to show you guys the end result of finishing our main floor. And after that, we are putting up our ICF walls. We're going straight to the roof. So stay tuned and we will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.